Did the president talk to the Ukrainian president about what he wanted done with Joe Biden and what he wanted done with Paul Manafort? I have no idea. I never asked him that. I don't know if he did, and I wouldn't care if he did. He had every right to do it as the president of the United States. He had every right to say to the Ukrainian president, we have two outstanding allegations of massive corruption. And did he ask you to do what you were doing? No, I did what I did on my own. And then really? I told him about it afterwards because I'm his lawyer and I know how to investigate. So you never talked and to I, him about it before. You only talked to him about it after. Three months after I found out about it. And then I found out that it was true by getting signed, sworn statements from five people in the Ukraine who said that we were brought into the White House, the Obama White House, and we were told, go dig up dirt on Trump and Manafort in January of 2016. You have no idea how big this is because you're I blinded. Love, you're me, blinded the by your prejudice. Give me the affidavits. I appreciate I'm the personal I'm not going to give you the affidavits. Why, I'm going to give them in court. I'm not going to give so them to you. Them. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, give them to I'm a, a journalist. Court. You oh, keep saying, the FBI. Hold, on, hold on, Rudy. Rudy. You can't indict you, anybody. You want to say I won't cover it because I'm like this, right? You say? Oh, um, man. When I, when but I now watch you the won't give me the proof. show, I'm not going to give you proof. What can you do? You can't indict anybody. Believe me. The proof is in the right hands. El periódico The Wall Street Journal publicó precisamente esta tarde un artículo en el que asegura que el, presiden el presidente Trump, y citando a Fuentes, sí hizo un pedido de investigación al presidente de Ucrania, Volodymyr Zelensky. Según el artículo, Trump no habría mencionado la ayuda militar, pero sí le pidió a Zelensky trabajar con su abogado personal Rudy Giuliani en la investigación contra Hunter Biden, hijo del ex vicepresidente Biden, quien participó en actividades comerciales en ese país. El presidente Trump, en una llamada telefónica en julio, presionó al presidente de Ucrania para que investigara al hijo del candidato Joe Biden, urgiendo a Volodymyr Zelensky por lo menos ocho veces para que trabajara con Rudy Giuliani, su abogado personal, en una investigación de acuerdo a personas familiarizadas con el tema. En un acto de campaña en Iowa, el ex vicepresidente Biden destacó, dice, nadie le ha dado credibilidad a las denuncias de Trump, a lo que dice Trump, y es que cuando era vicepresidente amenazó con congelar fondos a Ucrania si no despedían al fiscal, fiscal que había sido denunciado a nivel internacional por corrupción. Uh, I shouldn't even have information. Uh, I've had conversations with many leaders that are always appropriate. I think Scott can tell you that. Always appropriate. At the highest level, always appropriate. And anything I do, I fight for this country. I fight so strongly for this country. Uh, it's just another uh, political hack job. That's all it is. On that point, did you discuss Joe Biden, his son, or his family with the leader? Uh, it doesn't matter what I discuss, but I will say this. Somebody ought to look into Joe Biden's statement, because it was disgraceful, where he talked about uh, billions of dollars that he's not giving to a certain country unless a certain prosecutor is taken off the case. So uh, somebody ought to look into that, and you wouldn't, because he's a Democrat. And uh, the fake news doesn't look into things like that. It's a disgrace. But I had a, I had a great conversation with numerous people. I don't even know exactly who you're talking about. But I had a great conversation with numerous people, uh, uh, numerous leaders. And I always look for the uh, conversation that's going to help the United States the most. That's very important. Do you know the identity of the whistleblower? I don't know the identity of the whistleblower. I just hear it's a partisan person meaning it comes out from another party, uh, but I don't have uh, any idea. But I can say that it was a totally appropriate conversation. It was actually a beautiful conversation.